Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Cognito. So today we are going to learn how to create user pool in Cognito in AWS. So let's get started. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So you, <coughs> when you open the AWS, you can hear you need to write Cognito. When you click on the Cognito, this kind of user face it appears so here you need to create a user pool right after go to that screen there are options that you have to add this is cognito by default right and here <coughs> cognito user pool sign in options so which one you want to provide whether it's to be a phone number email or the username so so this depends upon to you so cognito user pool sign in options can't be changed after the user pool has been created whether you want to take the email username or the phone name so you can use that one so i'm going to take the email right or you can choose the both one also email or the phone number or the username but there is a conflictions when you try to create a new user so be specific on that okay so i'm choosing the email doing the next step cognito by default right eight characters of the length of the minimum password multi-factor authentication if you want to enable the multi-factor authentication then you can do that else you can make it optional right <clears throat> here we are going to do with the mfa methods sms message so it, it don't require of that one okay so here we have an email only sms or whatever you can select on on the behalf of what requires on your code level so he select how user pool will deliver messages email sms email if available otherwise sms so you can select so i'm selecting the email sms right so next something miss you have to select the sms over here right next so here we have a cell service sign up enable registration self registration form then send email verify the email address right Okay, then we have an email address, then we have to select the attributes. So I'm going to take the name of that one. So this is the given the name of the first name. You can select whatever the fields you want. If you want the, just the name, you can select the name. If you want the phone number, you can also select the phone number, right? Select this phone numbers, right? And go to the next part here. <coughs> Send email with Amazon ACS recommended. If you want to send the email with Cognito, you can switch that one. If you want to send that Cognito email part, right? That the Cognito can send the authentication password to your email. So you can select, I'm going to select this part. Okay. So here from which email address, so you can add the address over here. Like uh, Royal Vajnikan1993 at the gmail.com. Okay. And if you want to create now, next step is I am role. You want to create the new role, you're the existing role. I have already created the new, new uh, existing role, so I'm going to select that role. Okay, here by default, it will go into selected. Next, user pool name, new pool you can add. Okay, here you need to add the pool name. Then, hosted applications, if you want to add, you can add like uh, Google sign in. Uh, uh, here you can see that there are various, various options you can say like a google sign in facebook sign in so if you want that you can do with that one here you want to add the app type so here we have a public confidential and the others so right now i'm going to use the public client because it's a browser specific and app or name that one that is a test client <coughs> here the main important thing client secret so uh, most of the javascript uh, packages or something they don't want the uh, secret key of that one and creating the issue of that one so mark this checked don't generate a client secret key else you are facing the issues when you develop the code right so don't generate a client secret key then all done next then you will go to review all of these functionalities then review of that one and then create user pool <coughs> user pool has been created so you can see that new pool has been created so this is how you are able to create a new user pool in the cognito in aws any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section next video we are going to learn how to create a user in the user pool 
so let's uh, check it out the next video thank you so much for watching this video have a great day don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day